Hi, good evening to you both. We spent all day sifting through that 70 page document, which details what exactly happened on that day last June. Now, because of the results of that investigation, the chief of police has recommended that the four officers who still work here at the police department, they're on paid administrative leave, ultimately be fired. But that report is also showing a lot more of what happened behind the scenes. A 70 page internal affairs report shows exactly what happened on June 19th of last year. It all starts with an arrest where Cox was being transported in the back of a van without seatbelts when the driver stopped short, sending him to the back of that van and paralyzing him from the chest down. Those involved are officers Oscar Diaz, Jocelyn Lavendier, Ronald Presley, who has since retired, Luis Rivera and Sergeant Betsy Segui. They've all pled not guilty to cruelty and reckless endangerment charges. The report shows how the officers treated Cox after the van incident, saying they violated several department policies and showed a quote, lack of compassion and remorse for Cox while he pleaded for help. The document says Officer Diaz failed to provide immediate medical attention to Cox despite him calling out for help. Instead, he took him to the detention center and waited for an ambulance. From there, the report says Cox kept telling officers he fell and couldn't move, but they still told him to move and leave the van. At one point, they dragged him out by his ankles and feet, trying to stand him up, but he kept collapsing to the ground. Cox was then placed in a wheelchair and a holding cell where shackles were put on his legs as he continued to call for help. The report says at one point, quote, Officer Presley made comments to Cox about him being funny and winking at him. Meanwhile, Cox was telling the officers that he was in pain. In the meantime, after reviewing the investigation, the chief of police is recommending the officers be fired. Administration does have your back um, and that um, mistakes do happen, but we will not treat this community disrespectfully. Now, each of the five officers will go in front of the State Board of Police Commissioners in April, where they will all have their own individual hearings. At that point, the board will make the decision as to whether or not the rest of the four officers get to keep their jobs here at the police department. Now, the million dollar question here that a lot of people have is what exactly were these officers thinking pulling Cox out of the van while he remained motionless and unable to move or do anything? Well, answer what they have to say about that coming up at six o'clock. For now, we're live in New Haven, Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.